Hi, this is Marino from MM Fabric. In this video, we will create this example using MM Fabric Connect and MM Fabric. We will show some new features involving the consumption of data formats that are other than JSON, which is a new feature, and some new uh, sources. We will create a connector for consuming Avro messages through Kafka. Avro is a binary serialization library that's uh, used a lot. We will also consume JSON messages from an MQTT broker, in this case VernMQ. We will set up a, a connector that will watch a folder and whenever an Excel spreadsheet is dropped on it, it will consume it, extract some fields and send it to mFabric. We will also consume XML messages from ActiveMQ, a JMS broker, and we will initially just send the whole JSON, the just whole XML as JSON, but the later we'll map some fields. And finally, we will be pulling a CSV file from a website and extracting the columns and sending to the fabric. So let's start. We I have a new installation of M fabric. You can see we have no connectors. So let's start with the CSV. Let's name it web CSV. You can see here that we separated the connector configuration into four sections, which makes it easy to configure. It's much clearer. So let's set the URL. I have a, a CSV file on a website, which won't change in this case, but it could be auto-generated. So here, this is another new thing. We In input format, we have to specify which format the input has. In this case, these are the ones that we support right now, but of course, we will keep adding new ones. In this case, I select CSV. Here, the CSV and the Excel file will be the same, is, which is this data. Uh, as you can see, the first uh, row is uh, the headers, so we want to skip the first uh, row. The separator character will be like that, and the quote character will stay the same. And you can see the add mappings um, button, in which case we can say for each column in the CSV which uh, which uh, attribute in the JSON, resulting JSON we will use. Uh, we have three, six, seven, so one, two, three, four, six, seven. I will route them right now. We have date. You can not only write attributes, but we, you can also write something like value that open, value that high, for example, value that low. So these are the columns, and we go to the next step. We select the target. We will name it uh, CSV, and we will create it. Now we start it. Let's go to mFabric, and I will create a new source, and the source will be CSV. Let's name it this CSV. And if we go and see the content, we can see that we have uh, value data and nine uh, rows because we skipped the first, the headers. And you can see here, for example, add close date and value dot close high low. So it uh, even creates nested attributes. Let's continue with the next one. Now we will create the JSON uh, mapping which uh, is uh, sensors data. We select for this MQTT. The queue is called sensors. I have VernMQ in localhost. In this case, we won't need to authenticate. We can if it's required. The input is JSON. We can either uh, send the JSON as it comes or use JSON mapping. It works the same. You basically map the, an attribute on the input to an attribute on the output, and it will do the mapping for you. We will leave it as it is, and we will configure the target. Let's create the source now. And we have the sensors information. 
which contains information from sensors. Let's continue with the next one. Um, let's do the Avro one now. Um, um. In this case, we will use Kafka. I have a broker running locally. The topic is Apache Access. I have a, I defined a schema to serialize the Apache Access logs for a project, and we will use it here. Here you have to specify the class that is generated by Avro to deserialize the uh, the messages. Uh, for this, uh, you create the schema, use the tools from Avro to generate the classes, and then build a jar and drop it in the lib folder on MFabric Connect, and it will be picked up from there, just as you do with the JDBC database drivers. So it seems to be okay. Let's name it Apache Access. Start it. And now we have the data here, which you can see is information regarding Apache Access logs. Now, continue with the next one. Let's do the Excel one. Um, in this case, we will use the local, no, not local command, file system. You have to specify the path to the folder where the this connector will watch. In this case, I will use um, this path, which I have here. And when the file is processed, we want to delete it. The file is Excel. So let's add mappings. Here you write, um, if you use Excel, you can write a cell like C4 or a range like C4 colon C9 or uh, cells or ranges separated by commas. You can even specify the sheet name if it's not the, the first one. In this case, uh, let's see, I will do just a small example. I will do like the dates and opens only, so it will be uh, from A2 to A10, I think, yeah, it will be called dates, F uh, from B2 to B10, it will be called opens, to show something else, let's do something else. Let's do C3 from D4 to D9 and uh, the sheet is called MFT10 MSFT10 and we will pick um, E4 if it's set or something. Uh, I did it on reverse here. So now we select the target um, Excel, let's name it. Now I will start it and here I have the file so I will copy it and paste it here and it will be processed. Oh, I forgot to create the source here. Let's do it again. So it was processed and here we can see dates and we have uh, nine uh, values. We have the cell name, the column, the row, the sheet if it was specified and the value. And here we have the opens. Notice that it detected that they were numbers and it, it, they are sent as numbers, not as strings. And finally, the something uh, we can see that it picked up all the all the values that we specify and in this case even the the sheet name that we provided so let's go with the last one which may be the most 
complex one let's say so this is bookstore let's name it because i'm using this example from a microsoft expat example which is a bookstore xml and provides some expat examples which we will use and the source is activemq which is also a new source the topic is new top my topic we won't authenticate so we'll leave it at that and in this case it's xml we will start with just plain xml to see how it works if we, you are you have small messages and you want the complete message uh, is the easiest thing but we will see later what happens if we do something else so we create a new source on mfabric and we get the xml in json which is data that bookmark that book and it's an array that has author and price you can see that uh, it maps to this but let's say that we have a huge xml and we don't want to send the whole thing only some parts so let's go to edit input format use xpath mapping let's add a mapping let's take some from here let's say this one and we will name it authors let's add another mapping um, this title that should be enough so let's update this and it, here we have a message saying that since uh, we updated the configuration we should restart it if you want to reflect the changes so we will do that and now we should get a new yeah we have it here a new object that has authors with an array of all the authors that it matched and titles which is only one and uh, so we just did the abro deserialization to json json to json in this case without mapping but we could excel watching a folder and extracting some cells xml directly converting to json or mapping with using xpat and CSV mapping the columns uh, pulling from a web server. So as you can see, it's a really complex example and it contains different kinds of sources and data formats that any company may have. And they will all be reflected uh, available on even fabric. So you could create uh, a dashboard like this, for example, using the sources that you have on your company you can imagine that some of this data comes from from those sources and you will easily create this like this where this source comes from one of those integrations so i hope you liked it if you have any doubt question or something you would like to tell us just uh, follow us on twitter facebook or on youtube and comment us uh, comment there and we will happily reply bye